last color for this bed that I've given us into us of their father. As this start our service of their father, you bless the children and the at home where they are watching us with their father. You give them strength to sing with their father. Uh, you will always be with us with their father. It's in Jesus' name and the Lord. Amen. 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 chapter 18 and verse 6. Jeremiah chapter 18 and verse 6. We have said today is on focus, focus on the process. And it says, I wish we do it together, all of us. You can see? Yes. Jason, you can see? Yes. yes. It says, like clay in the heart of the potter, so are you in my heart. Let us do it together. As clay, as clay in the heart of the potter, so are you in my heart. Amen. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for this word. Speak to us and help us to appreciate the process that you always take us through in this life. We lift your name and we exalt you. For it is the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 So when we have just read. It's in the book of Jeremiah. Who wrote the book of Jeremiah? Jeremiah. Yeah, Jeremiah himself. He also wrote some other books. Anyone else who knows the book? Any other book that Jeremiah wrote? Yes. Lamentations. Let's clap for her. Any other, any other, any other book that Jeremiah wrote? He also wrote the book of First Kings and Second Kings. He also wrote the book of First Kings and Second Kings. So as we learn about this process of uh, on focusing on the process, I'd like us to go back to our to our school, our normal school, and learn about the butterfly. And learn about the the butterfly. The butterfly it has several stages. How many stages of a butterfly? There are four. The first stages, the egg. Cynthia, you only start with the egg. The egg is the first stage of the butterfly. And you know the egg is the smallest. It is so small. And you know what the Bible says in the book of uh, in the book of Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 10. It says, Do not despise this, this small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the birth begin. You know we are in the time of the coronavirus. All of us we understand we are in the time of coronavirus. And we have been taught the small things. What are the small things that you are supposed to do during this time? Wash your hands. Sanitize. Keep social distance. Wear a mask. Those are small things. But do you know those small things? They protect us from getting the virus. So the Lord is telling us today, do not despise these small things. These small things that your parent will tell you, wash your hands for 20 seconds. These small things that your parent will tell you, do not go outside. They are the small things that are going to protect you from the coronavirus. Are you together, class? Yes. Yeah, so we are supposed, even the small things that you are told, brush your teeth. Those small things, they are the ones that will make us to be healthy and wise. So the Bible says in the book of Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 10, do not despise these small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the world begin. 
Then we go to the next stage of a caterpillar, of a, of a, of a butterfly. What is the next stage of a butterfly? A caterpillar. You know, all of us, you know what is a caterpillar? Yes, that is the next stage of a butterfly. In the book of uh, Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 20, it says, Whatever you do, work with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Again, let's do it again. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 20, it says, Whatever you do, whatever you do, work with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for your human masters. What we are supposed to do in this stage of the caterpillar, in this stage of the butterfly, which we call it a caterpillar, it is the developing stage. Like all of us, we are developing at this stage. So the Bible is telling us, do not focus on the others what they are doing. Don't focus on the other kids that they are going out, that they are not studying at this time. Do not focus on them, but focus on what God has told you to do. Focus on your studies at this young age. Be perfect in everything that you are doing. If it is making your bed, make it so well. Don't ask your mom, oh, mom, should I be making my bed every time? No. Do it because you are doing it for the Lord, not for anyone else. Do it as if you are doing it for the Lord, not for anyone else. When you are told by your mom, watch the intentions. Don't say, no, mom, I did it yesterday. Today I'm the one who is doing it again. No, don't say that. But do it so perfectly. Do it with a glad heart. Because you're not doing it for your own, but you're doing it for the God in heaven. Praise the Lord. Amen. So how many stages have we done so far? Two. Two stages. The first stage is the egg. The next stage you have done? Caterpillar. So we go to the next stage. The last stage of a, of, a, of a butterfly, and we call it the, the pupa. Some would call it cocoon, some would say pupa. So for me, I, I call it pupa. The first stage, we call it the transformative stage. See, that's what we learned in the science. It is the transformative stage. And you know the funny thing about that stage? There is nothing that is happening at that stage. Everything is silent. Like during this time of coronavirus. Everything seems to be so silent. But at this time, God is teaching us on patience. Say patience. Patience. Say patience. Patience. And you know what the word of God says in the book of Psalms 40? The word of God says in the book of Psalms 40, verse 1, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. During this time we are waiting patiently unto the Lord. You pray, and our God will answer. You do what? You pray. You pray, and the God will answer you. During this time of, of this, this stage of pupa, when things are so silent, when you are waiting unto the Lord, be praying, and our God is going to answer you. It is a season to learn about humanity. All of us, every one of us is at home. We can't understand what is happening. Everyone wishes, wishes to go out. But because of the government regulations, all of us we are supposed to be at home. But during this time when we are at home, be humble. Learn about humanity. Because the government has said, don't move out, don't move out, but be at home. Because our God is going to listen to us and he is going to save us. So how many stages have we had of? Three. Three. The first stage? A. Yeah. It is the beginning stage. Then we have stage done? Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Then the last stage? Pupa. Pupa, which is the transformative stage. And then we go to the last stage. The last stage, which is the most beautiful stage. The last stage is the butterfly. Wow, can you see how beautiful it is? Yes. Can you see how beautiful it is? Yes. Yeah, it is the last stage. And it is the stage that where we achieve our goals. 
And the, the Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 11, He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has made everything beautiful in its time. What does that say? After everything has come to an end, after this corona thing has come to an end, we shall come back to the church and praise God. Because he shall have made everything to be beautiful. We will no longer uh, be afraid of sickness. All of us we shall be healthy, we shall be strong, and we shall come back into the house of God and rejoice God because of the great things he has done. So the Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 11, He has made everything beautiful in his time. So even during this time, let us not complain before God that things are so hard. No, he is going to make things to be so beautiful, like the butterfly. Like that? The butterfly. So we have read how many stages? Four stages. I'd like us to learn this. The first stage we have said is the egg, which is the beginning. The small beginnings, we should not despise the small beginnings. Because God is still together with us. The second stage is the developing stage, which is the caterpillar. During this developing stage, we are supposed to work hard, we are supposed to work in preparation of the next stage. Then the dark stage is the, the pupa, the cocoon, which we call it the transformative stage. During this stage, we are supposed to be patient, because our God is going to reward. And the last stage is the butterfly, the reproductive stage, which is the beautiful stage, that God will make this to be beautiful at its time. I'd like us to go to our homework today, then we go back to our memory verse. And our, our homework we shall do, we shall complete the, the drawings of a, of a butterfly, we join the dots, we shall join the dots, but we shall do it at our home. And even for the viewers, and even for the viewers at home, we are supposed to join the dots and we color the butterfly and make it a beautiful. So we go to our memory verse so that we can conclude. Our memory verse, which is in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 18. And it says, let's do it together. Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 6. Like clay. Like clay like in the heart of the Lord, of the potter, so are you in my heart. Let's do it again for the last time. Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 6. Clay in the heart of the potter, so are you in my heart. Amen. Let's clap for you, all of us. Thank you. So we can pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. And we worship your name for enabling us to understand we are just like clay in your heart. That despite the each and every stage we are passing through, we shall come out victorious. At the right time, we shall be beautiful. We shall make things to be beautiful at their time. Despite the challenge of Corona, and despite the uh, hard economic times, you are making things to be beautiful. We worship your name and we give you the glory. For it is the mighty name of Jesus we pray in Amen. 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 Thank you. Now we can wait to everyone at home and tell them bye. We can wait to everyone in the home. Yeah, God bless you so much.